When rescuers are racing to save a life, their worst enemy is often time. I'm William Shatner. Tonight, true stories of courage and compassion on Rescue 911. We begin on August 24th, 1988 in Ontario, Canada, as friends Janelle Spain and Karen Himmel were enjoying a camping trip. Every year, millions of tourists flock to Niagara Falls, drawn by its power and spectacular views. Over the years, the falls have also claimed many lives. It's a strange area. And unfortunately, the water going over has a special attraction to some people and lures them, actually, to their own deaths. About a mile upstream, a set of control gates stretches across the Niagara, regulating the flow of water to the falls. This dam is known as the point of no return. Any boat or person caught in the powerful currents beyond it will be carried right over the falls. Twenty-five-year-old Janelle Spain and twenty-three-year-old Karen Himmel were staying at a campground upriver from Niagara Falls. We decided to bring the boat. Janelle just bought it about a week ago. As they approached the entrance to the Niagara River, signs warned them to stay to the right. On the left were the control gates that lead to the falls and the power turbine intakes. We were out cruising around out there, just spending the day. We shut the boat off for a while, lay down in the sun. Back in Indiana, when the sun sets, it, it takes maybe a half hour to 45 minutes. Here, up in Canada, it almost like drops. We didn't realize how fast the sun set. We had decided to head back. We were going to spend the evening downtown. Can we just keep going? Sure, that's it. Yeah, that, that must be it. I was certain we were heading back to the canal, which led back into the, the Welland River. Sheila and Tom Hodges were on the road that parallels the Niagara River, on their way to a movie. I could just barely see that it was a single engine boat. And that kind of really got my attention, you know, that I don't think anyone in their right mind would go beyond that point with just one kicker, one engine. I got it! Oh, God, Tom. as if they had actually increased their speed and then they went right over the dam. We're dead. When we looked over the edge, here was the boat, upright. These two people still in the boat. How that happened, I mean, I, I was just astonished. I couldn't believe that they were still in the boat. Actually, we're turning the boat around, trying to head back up the dam. Where we were, there was very little traffic, and it was such a helpless situation. Tom flagged down a parked tour bus. Right at that moment, one of the girls fired the red flare into the air. And that's when he took it serious, and he got on the phone. Niagara Parks Police, this is people moving number eight. The call came into the Niagara Parks Police Department. Officers were immediately dispatched. Tom, hurry! Hurry! I was shaking from head to toe, and I really had little hope that they'd be saved. And I, I just kept imagining what that would feel like, you know, being at the brink. And knowing you're, you're, you're gone. When we continue, once you get below the international control gates, you're in rough water and uh, no chance of getting out of the water before going over the falls. 